Good morning. Today we celebrate the solemnity of St. Peter and Paul, apostles. Presiding at this Mass is Father Mark Rezel, and all the music for today's Mass is found in the worship aid. Please rise and join in song. we pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. For the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you always. And with yours. And today we celebrate the solemnity of Saints Peter and Paul. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and your blood. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly Let us pray. O oh God, who on the solemnity of the apostles Peter and Paul, give us the noble and holy joy of this day, grant, we pray, that your church may in all things follow the teaching of those through whom she received the beginnings of right religion. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. 
A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, King Herod laid hands upon some members of the church to harm them. He had James, the brother of John, killed by the sword. And when he saw that this was pleasing to the Jews, he proceeded to arrest Peter also. It was the Feast of Unleavened Bread. He had, take, he had him taken into custody and put in prison under the guard of four squads of four soldiers each. He intended to bring him before the people after Passover. Peter thus was kept in prison, but prayer by the church was fervently being made to God on his behalf. On the very night before Herod was to bring him to trial, Peter, secured by double chains, was sleeping between two soldiers, while outside the door, guards kept watch on the prison. Suddenly, the angel of the Lord stood by him, and a light shone in his cell. He tapped Peter on the side and awakened him, saying, Get up, quickly. The chains fell from his wrists. The angel said to him, Put on your belt and your sandals. He did so. Then he said to them, put on your cloak and follow me. So he followed him out, not realizing that what was happening through the angel was real. He thought he was seeing a vision. They passed the first guard, then the second, and came to the iron gate leading out to the city, which opened for them by itself. They emerged and made their way down an alley and suddenly the angel left him. Then Peter recovered his senses and said, now I know for certain that the Lord sent his angel and rescued me from the hand of Herod and from all that the Jewish people were expecting. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul's glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. The angel of the Lord will rescue Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. The angel of the Lord will rescue. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress he saved him. The angel of the Lord will rest. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. 
Taste and see how good the Lord is. Bless the man who takes refuge in him. The angel of the Lord will rescue those who fear him. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. I, Paul, am already being poured out like a libation, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have competed well. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. From now on, the crown of, righteous, the crown of righteousness awaits me, which the Lord, the just judge, will award to me on that day and not only to me, but to all who have longed for his appearance. The Lord stood by me and gave me strength, so that through me the proclamation might be completed and all the Gentiles might hear it. And I was rescued from the lion's mouth. The Lord will rescue me from every evil threat and will bring me safe to his heavenly kingdom. To him be glory forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Gospel according to St. Matthew. When Jesus went into the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do people say that the Son of Man is? And they replied, Some say John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter said in reply, you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus said to him, blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my heavenly Father. And so I say to you, you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. Like the apostle to the Gentiles, Paul, whose conversion literally and figuratively knocked him off his high horse, let us be able to say with conviction, I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. Like the fisherman Simon, known as the rock long before the wrestler actor took the moniker, 
Let us declare with certainty a faith in God who chooses to be revealed to us and who rescues us from our foes. Like the great apostles whose memory and example we lift up, may our lives, our words, our actions bear witness to what we believe and who we profess to be. Authority and governance were entrusted by the Lord to the unlikely pair whose martyrdom we commemorate each July 29th. Individuals who were different in background, education, and style, but one in their faith in Jesus as Lord. Peter and Paul were given what they needed to guide the young church after the resurrection. We too who know God, who chooses to be revealed and who rescues us, our lives proclaim Jesus as Messiah, as Savior, so that the world may be transformed by the love and the mercy of God that we profess in the tradition of the martyred apostles. Like Peter and Paul, our words and actions must proclaim Jesus as Lord. I invite the church to stand as we profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us, man, and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate to the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. At this Mass, we remember the Thomas Martin family. I ask you for whom and for what else shall we pray? Lord, hear our prayer. 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 Merciful God, hear the prayers of this gathering of your church. Continue to raise up women and men outstanding in holiness like your martyred apostles, Peter and Paul. Grant to us all that we truly need through Christ our Lord.
us that are you, Lord God, of all creation. And through your goodness, we receive the bread we offer you. We hear the work of human hands become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you through the divine, the work of human hands, which will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, we touch by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice and pledge today be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, of my iniquity and cleanse me of all of my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. May the prayer of the apostles, O Lord, accompany the sacrificial gift that we present to you, to your name for consecration, and may their intercession make us devoted to you in celebration of the sacrifice through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts and let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For by your providence, the blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, bring us joy. Peter, foremost in the confessing the faith, Paul, its outstanding preacher. Peter, who established the early church from the remnant of Israel, Paul, master and teacher of the Gentiles that you call. And so each, in a different way, gathered together the one family of Christ, and revered together throughout the world, they share one martyr's crown. And therefore, with all the angels and saints, we praise you, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant, Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, and those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants and all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and for all those who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogenes, John and Paul, Cosmos, and Damien, and all of your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. 
Therefore, Lord, we pray graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O Lord, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and the blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands. And once more, giving you thanks, he said the blessing. And gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts you've given to us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly confidence and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel, the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and who rest in the sleep of peace. Grant to them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all of your saints, admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord, you sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we 
dare to say our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus the Christ, for the kingdom, and the power, and the glory. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Share with those around you a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. But I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and the blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life.
let us pray. Grant us, O Lord, who have been renewed by this sacrament, so to live in the church that preserving in the breaking of the bread and in the teaching of the apostles, we may be one heart and one soul made steadfast in your love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you to Peter and Jessica for helping us elevate the celebration of the day's solemnity. The solemnity is the highest of the ranking days, and if July 29th was a Sunday, it would be celebrated over the ordinary time Sunday. Uh, of highest rank, so it looks like a Sunday, and when we can, we will make sure that we have music and thank you lectors and those who help us to pray together and to elevate this day. Also, thank you for putting this on live stream today. Thank you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Thank you to bow for the blessing. May Almighty God bless you. For he has made you steadfast in St. Peter's saving confession. And through it has set you on the solid rock of the church's faith. Amen. Amen. And having instructed you by the tireless preaching of St. Paul, may God teach you constantly by his example to win brothers and sisters for Christ. So that by the keys of St. Peter and the words of St. Paul, and by the support of their intercession, God may bring us happily to that homeland that Peter attained on a cross, and Paul by the blade of a sword. Amen. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Oh, dear.